rags to riches. What up, peeps? Hopefully there'll be some, like, produce and stuff around here soon. Will you do an extreme challenge where you can't use public utilities? Well, how would you even live? Is my, like, legitimate question. If you can't use, like, public space. <laughs> like, I mean, we could collapse on the floor to sleep, but you wouldn't be able to get your hygiene up ever. You'd always wet yourself, so your hygiene would always be low. You'd always be- you'd probably die of an embarrassment, to be honest. I don't think that would work. <laughs> like, unless, unless you did it the challenge where you can still sell stuff in the inventory. Uh, let's do a little bit of fishing. I love your Wags to Witches series. Wow, I did it too, damn it. So many people are like, I always say Wags to, uh, to Witches. I was like, oh, I'm like, I, was like, I don't think I've done that yet. I just did it. Wags to Witches. It's so easy to get that wrong. Especially because I did a series called Rags to Witches as well in The Sims 2. It was only like three episodes and I never did much of it. Wags to Witches is there. I mean, you could do like Wags to bi- Cheers, which would still be very dog themed. Um, I mean, it would be fine, technically. I mean, I just felt like it was probably not a very good title for the series. I mean, it's a very good title for the series, don't get me wrong, but I was like, it's probably not appropriate for most people. <laughs> it would have been, been fun. All right, so do a little bit of fishing. Can we please find a- if we can find a violin. If we can fi- Oh, wait, we did! Oh, okay, we're good. This is actually amazing. I was like, if we can find a violin, I'm not even paying attention. Okay, the problem is now it's nighttime. I don't know how many people are going to be around. Oh my god, look how much mess is here. Yeah, you got a violin. Violin hype! Okay, this is what's great. Let's get the hell out of here because we don't need to do this stuff anymore. If we can just go play for tips. Money. Let's go to San Myshuno because if we just hang out in the flea market area, then it will eventually show up. So then we can sell the stuff we have right there. Never been this happy about a violin. Hell yeah! Play in front of a bar or something. Well, this is a karaoke place. We'll play outside and be like, Hey, wh wh what are you doing going to karaoke? Just just come watch me play the violin. It's gonna be sick! Uh, problem is we have to practice it first. Oh, we should probably s I guess we should sleep. You know what, let's sleep first, actually. Because, uh, we can do it tomorrow. Like, there's no rush. Hype! Okay, actually, now, my concern about the- Oh god, they're even digging through the trash. Concern about this is food. At least for now. Like, once we start earning money, we'll be able to just buy food, which will be great. But I don't think there's any grills here, so we won't be able to get any food for the time being if we hang out here. Alright, let's just- we're just gonna have to fast forward time here until we sleep a little bit. We'll have to sleep a few times here. Yeah, let's get the energy up as high as we can. I can't- Oh, the energy is like one of those things that's like, as soon as you have like a good bed in the Sims, it's so much better. Whew. Uh, uh, you can look for snow globes here to sell them. That is also a good idea. We could do that. And also like posters and all that. Steal food, stole food. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. I mean, we won't literally be able to walk up and steal it, but... I might be able to <laughs> steal this purse. Like, when people order food, I might be able to go up and take it. Or if they leave it on tables, which they sometimes do. That's not a bad idea. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. We'll, let, we'll get the energy up first. Oh, wait. Is there a toilet here? Please tell me there's a toilet. Toilet here. I know there's one inside. I guess we could technically use that. Although it seems it seems a bit iffy to use a. Oh wait, no, there's a toilet here. Let's use this. I want to use that one. I was gonna say it just seems a bit iffy trying to use a. Uh, oh, it's already been snatched. Trying to use a toilet in a karaoke place, especially during the day, which I feel like it should be closed. Uh, the guy already playing the violin. Watch out, you got competition. Well, not right now, uh, which is good. I mean, yeah, he's he's earning money. He's doing better than me. He's like, like basically at this point. We're kind of like here, we're like scoping out the situation, we're sitting here like on the bench, we're like, Alright, let's uh, let's take notes. Okay, alright. Now, if I- how do you get that- Oh, how do you get that uniform again? Don't you just like have to talk to them or something and then you can like unlock the uh, the street performing outfit? I can't remember how you do it, but you can totally get that. I think you need a couple levels of the, of the skill to play for tips. Yeah, we'll, we'll start practicing soon. Um, we'll need to- I think it's like level three or something. GeekCon is in town. Well, good for GeekCon, but I'm not going to go to it, because it sucks. There is a house with bath and fridge and sofas. Yeah, but one of the rules of Rags Riches is that we can't do that, because realistically, if you were a homeless person, you wouldn't be able to just walk into someone's house. Granted, you also wouldn't just fish out a violin, but it is The Sims, and it's the rules that I make up that I'm playing by, so... <laughs> so, my rules! Alright, let's actually collect this too. Good thing someone just left a box out. I will absolutely rummage through that. Thank you! And I'll also grab that poster. Thank you! Sweet. Thanks, guys. All right, so I'm hungry. Is anyone ordering food? Because I cannot get any food. Uh, do any harvestables grow here? Because okay, actually, that's probably the other bad thing about. Yeah, this is not. A, I'm going to be honest. This is not a great area to hang out in, because there's no food. There's no harvestables. So we're kind of just almost wasting time in this area until we can play for tips 
Well, to go to the flea market, really. So maybe we shouldn't be here. We could grab all the posters, though. You know what? Let's just go around and grab some stuff. And then maybe we should go back to the park. It'd probably be better. Also, accessible fridge. Again, yeah, we're not going to be using stuff like fridges and all that. Unless we buy it ourselves. As is the rules of said challenge. That's just how we play. It's the extreme edition. Oh, is there not something I can steal there? Best place would be Willow Creek, I think. I mean, Oasis Springs is pretty good. That's where we got the violin from, so that was not bad. Uh, let's go, and because I think we've, we've already spent more time- Oh, actually, I was gonna say, Oasis Springs is probably bad because it's got- It's only got like blackberries in the area, which take forever to grow. Where's a good place? Because- just trying to think what grows in what areas. There's a little farm over here. Actually, a lot of mushrooms grow around this area, don't they? Maybe around here somewhere. Mm. No, you know what? Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park because there's grills and all that. Oh, actually, I think there's grills there too. But let's go there because it's more likely that people are going to make food. So let's just hang out there. Yeah, I would rather go, I'd rather go to the park just because we definitely have the grills there. And it's, uh, it's, like, it's not a bad space, you know? Uh, all right, let's uh, go wash my hands. Because apparently we're allowed to do that, as is one of my rules. I don't know. Look, my rules are my rules. We play by them, all right? Play by my rules in my stream, all right? Unless the rule is dumb, in which case- Oh god, who built this? Why? There's so many things I notice in this game, and it just makes me really sad. Why? Who did- like, who did this? Like, when we were in <laughs> Oasis Springs at the park, and it didn't even, um... The pathway didn't even join anywhere. This one's not so bad, because it's got, like, kind of like a driveway thing there. And then it's like, uh Why? Like, it's so simple to just put that there. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Alright, so we're getting hungry. Uh, hopefully someone will show- Ooh, No, you're playing chess. Any harvestables yet? So, wait, we've got an apple kit. So we've got, like, apple trees. Let me just pause, actually. We got- that's a snapdragon, I think. Yeah, we can't eat that. Wild apple tree. A bunch of things that we can dig up. Seeing if there's anything we could eat yet. But we haven't really been here that long. There's a pear tree there. Can we eat frog's legs? Because that'd be handy. I know we can't, but we should be able to. I don't think that's harvestable yet, the strawberries. <gasps> Katrina! How dare you. How much you want to bet Katrina's not going to give me tips? That, you know, a lot of people ask where the, the Katrina came from. And it was from, I believe, the original Rags of Riches. It was either the first one or the second one. And we are playing for tips on a guitar, I believe. And she kept watching and getting free entertainment, but not giving me any money. And that's where it all started. No, give me a tip, give me a tip, give me a tip. Give me the money, show me the money, show me the money, show me the money. Katrina! Katrina! Give me the money! Oh, Katrina. Can I slap her in the face? She's a cold, hard witch. But replace the W with a B. Yeah, there's nothing really harvestable yet. So there's no worry about that. Uh, let's go... Probably... Let's just hang out down over here, because... This tends to get more people grilling for some reason. I don't know why this area just seems better. Oh, actually, you know what? We need social. Let's talk to this person. Hello. Make me food. I know you want to. Where am I? I'm lost. Let's go back. Christmas series could be racks riches and you're playing as Santa Claus and you have to earn enough money to adopt seven children and buy them all gifts such as violins. <laughs> and also decorate your house. No, what it should be is like... I guess it could be racks riches, but then it's like you have Santa and then seven elves and you have like a workshop. <laughs> you make toys like on the all this stuff and then you sell them. I don't know. I don't know. You could do something like that. I don't know how well it would work that. I mean, I guess it doesn't really have to work that well. It just has to be something to to be festive. Not a bad idea. I'm going to get an expansion. With what one should I get? Well, what expansions are there? We have city living, uh, get to work, uh, cats and dogs. I'm really struggling to remember what they are. And uh, wait, what did I say? I've already forgotten. City living, get together, get to work. And cats and dogs. It depends what you like. I don't really like get together. I never really use the stuff in that. Where the hell am I? I never- I don't really use it that often. City living was good. My favorite by far is get to work just because of the retail stores. I love that. Also, if you want to do interactive careers like, uh, like the doctor and scientist, that's kind of cool. Uh, cats and dogs, obviously, if you like pets. Cats and dogs is pretty nice, but it's pretty buggy. <laughs> like, let's be honest. If you've been watching the Wags Riches series, pretty buggy. But it is nice. It is nice. Uh, but I think my favorite is get to work. Just because it's my it's my type of gameplay is a thing a lot of other people don't like it, but uh, I need food. Yeah, I know, but we'll we'll be fine. Like Sims can go about like three days without food. We're waiting for someone to make food. Oh, we got food here. Cool, let's go get it. Uh, we're just waiting for people to make food because we can't get any ourselves. They all are buggy. Yeah, but some of them I feel like some of them more than others. Like I feel like cats and dogs is pretty buggy. Like in comparison to the other expansions, like it's pretty it's pretty up there. <laughs> It's like, it's like up there. I think like, you reckon the buggiest packs, like not just expansions, the buggiest packs of The Sims 4, I reckon are probably Dine Out. Like when you were running restaurants, that was so all over the place. Uh, and then 
cats and dogs. I think unless there's another unless there's other stuff I'm forgetting, but I feel like those those two stick out in my mind as pretty damn buggy games. All right, so we got oh, look, see look at this. This is Willow Creek. So much food. It's like a freaking banquet here. All right, let's practice our violin because we need to actually earn money at some point. Uh, we need to get our skill up. Also, feeling inspired, so that's pretty good. Is it possible to have fun in The Sims 4 with just a base game? I think it is. I think I, like, I think anyone that's been playing The Sims 4 for like, well, since it came out, I've been playing it since it came out in 2014. I would probably get bored of the base game pretty quick. But if you're just starting The Sims, you can absolutely have fun with it. Like if you're just starting Sims 4, you could absolutely have a lot of fun with it. There's, there's loads of things to do. But once it's been out for like three years and you've already done everything, it's kind of like, well, I'm good. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, maybe not. Uh, but absolutely, I, I think you could. Or, like, if, you, if you're like, yeah, I don't know, if you're not convinced, you could always just get, like, The Sims 3, like, discount, like, it's way cheaper now, obviously, you get Sims 3 and a bunch of expansions, but that game is super laggy and slow. Or you could do, like, Sims 2, and go back. I mean, they're all great games, is the thing. It really just depends what you want to play, if you're, if you're really, like, pining after Sims 4. I mean, you could even get Sims 4 on console. Could do that, although the controls are real clunky on console, it's hard to play. But it's the same game, so that's cool. Alright, so we're doing, we're doing pretty good. I mean, we're just gonna wait. I'm just trying to zoom out a little bit so it's not so loud. Let's watch from over here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, can you do a Rax Riches, but you see him gets married to a billionaire to, and his uh, her whole life changes. Ah, that'd be so easy though. Like, what, what, the Rax of Riches element of that would probably be like an episode in The Sims, because it takes like two seconds to like marry someone. Harvey can use a computer to research violin. He can also discuss violinist. Uh, okay, so nothing useful yet. I think we need to be like level three or maybe five to play for tips. I don't know where we have to be. We have to be a fair way in, I think. How did he get the violin? I had to answer a phone and didn't catch how he did it. Oh, you can fish at the pond at the very back of Oasis Springs Park. You can sometimes get them from there. So that's how we did it. So, I mean, we're just going to basically keep this running for a while until we get that skill up because we need to earn money. Can you do the Black Widow challenge? Which one's that where you just go around and kill, like, you marry and kill them? And I, I don't actually know the rules of that challenge. I've heard of it, but I don't really know what it is. Same with the Not So Berry. I've heard of it. Don't, I never really looked into it. Uh, so, oh, I saw someone ask about Sims Mobile. About my thoughts on it. I think, so Sims Mobile, I think, um, Harvey can now play traditional songs. Okay, I must have to be like level five or something or higher, which is annoying. Okay, we're getting tired. Maybe we should just have a snooze. Actually, you know what? Let's have some food real quick. I'll talk about Sims Mobile in a second. Grab a serving. I think, so Sims Mobile, it's, okay, if you like mobile, okay, mobile games, you don't play it like a PC game. You're not gonna sit down and play the game for like an hour at a time. I mean, I guess you probably could, but you probably wouldn't. It's gonna be the thing where you're like on a bus, on a train, play it for like five minutes. And because it's a mobile game, I hate mobile games, by the way, in general. So I was never gonna like it just because I don't like mobile games because of the way mobile games work. Uh, it's gonna have, it has like timers, so you have to wait for stuff at higher level. At the beginning, it's a little, it's not too slow, but when you get into it, there's gonna be timers. There's microtransactions if you wanna do stuff quicker. So you can pay money to do stuff quicker, which is like any mobile game. So it's like, I hate, I hate mobile games. <laughs> I hate them so much. I mean, if you wanna play a game casually, it like, here's the thing, I think it's a very, beautiful looking game like if you saw my video on it it looks great like it looks really nice but if it was like the sims and i didn't have to wait for everything like if i could i would absolutely if it was like a fantastic game that i could keep playing never have to do microtransactions just pay like even like 20 bucks if i had to pay 20 dollars for it it was a great mobile game i could just be there and be like bup, 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 bup. it'd be sweet but that's not how money works on mobile games you earn way more money from people spending on microtransactions which is unfortunate because it means that it's gonna be like that so there you go if you want to play a mobile game uh you play that <laughs> If you want to play The Sims, play on PC or console, not on mobile. Or if you like Sims Free Play, I guess you'll probably like it too. But it's just like, yeah, it's not. I don't know. I feel like it's a very different audience to like regular Sims players, right? That's the way it is for me, anyway. I found The Sims Mobile boring. Yeah, I think it's like it's one of those things that you play probably five minutes, pick it up, put it down, pick it up tomorrow for another five minutes, like that kind of thing. Also, it's still technically not released, so there's that too. Like it's not. Released everywhere, yeah. I hate mobile games too. Oh yeah, I I literally don't have any game on my phone that I play. Like I've had games that I've played briefly every so often, but that's it. The games that I have on my phone, this has nothing to do with this current live stream. Let's see what games. I have The Sims mobile, and that's the only game on my phone. <laughs> that's literally the only game on my phone. Everything else is like an app that I used to do other stuff, and that's it. That is it. Because I don't play them, they all suck. Uh, yeah, no, no, I was gonna say, there's some mobile games that are actually good, uh, because, uh, I'm going on a mobile game tangent now, but because the games that I love on here, there's some that I've bought that are like a one-time price. There's like games like FTL, you buy that once off. I think, I think Prison Architect's like that too on mobile. That's once off. The old Sims games that you, I don't believe you can, you can get them anymore. 
but I think because I got them before, like years and years and years, this is years ago. I was actually gonna think, I was thinking of doing like, where did my guy go? I just wanna pay attention to what I'm doing. Let me just get him to do something first. Uh, yeah, the old, there's like, the, they, there was like the Sims 3 on mobile. There was like the Sims 3 University. No, the Sims 3 Ambitions on mobile as well, I believe. Um, there was like, and they were like, Sims games that didn't- this was like before microtransactions kind of existed, so they didn't fig- they hadn't figured it out yet, which is great. Uh, <laughs> which is great. I don't know how to find them anymore. How do, how do I get my purchased? Those- like those games that are full games that are like no- Oh, actually, you know what I hate the most about mobile games? Oh, this is just me ranting on mobile games. You know what I hate the most? Is when it's like a mobile game. And it's like- it, Well, it has microtransactions. I'm like, okay, to be expected, I can play this game without that. But it's the ones that are like, you need to be always online. So it's like, if I want to play it when I'm traveling or something. I have to be online to play it. I'm like, really? Like, it's a mobile game. I want to play it when I'm not- Do you read your comments? Yes, but I'm ranting currently. I'm looking up games on my phone. Here we go. The Sims 3 Ambitions. I've got this. Purchased. Can, is there a store page for it anymore? I don't think so. Nothing's loading. But The Sims 3 Ambitions. I kind of want to do videos on these to like compare it to The Sims Mobile, but I feel like that's kind of like- It's like, hey, The Sims Mobile's here. But also, The Sims 3 Ambitions years ago was way better. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. I hate mobile games. I hate them. Even the ones that are full games that are like, um, like no microtransactions. I still don't like them because it's on mobile. I just don't like mobile. I hate the touchscreen. It, I don't know, for me, touchscreen games, I, the only ones I actually like are like literally the one-click games or like swipe that way, swipe like, like, uh, like threes or 2048, like, you know, those where you just sort of like, blah, 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 blah. Ones that, as soon as it becomes like a first person thing where you have to use like thumbs as joysticks or anything like more complicated, it's just, I don't know, I find it too cumbersome, not worth it just, uh, I don't like it. That's why I think like Nintendo's Switch is way better because it's like an actual console. It's also not too big and way better. Not sponsored, but I would prefer that over mobile games. All right, so wash me hands. Okay, so we're a little tired, but that's okay. I think we can, he's feeling energized. So let's actually just go here real quick. Let's see if we can just play a little bit more. Practice, let's bow for inspiration. Let's do that. For what? Don't wear headphones for James's streams in case Katrina appears. That's right, you gotta be careful of Katrina. She'll come out of nowhere. For what? All right, so we, where are we with the skill anyway? Level three. I don't know when we get tips. I guess it must be five. I'm a mobile game addict, to be honest. Oh man, I am not. I don't like mobile games at all. Oh, food. <laughs> oh, food. I'll grab a saving of that. Did, why? Stop trying to go home. He always tries to go home. The food is off. Nah, he's fine. <laughs> He'll be fine, hopefully. All right, let's go nap. I think have, I'm pretty sure you have to be level seven to play for tips. Oh man. All right, well, we'll keep, we'll keep working towards that. That's our, that's our goal. Your Sim's gonna be sick. Nah, he'll be fine. Look, he's feeling inspired already. Let's play some more. Practice. Feeling inspired. It'll be so good. Fuwa! Listen how good he is now. I still have zero dollars. How long are we into this challenge right now? We're an hour and 12 minutes in. We have zero dollars. And he is sick, is he? Let's see. He's not sick. He's tired, unless... Nah, I think we got away with it. I think we're okay. I must use Apple's- oh. Wait, what? What? Oh, we got six bucks! I'm just practicing it, we got six bucks! Oh, I didn't even know you could get money that way! That- that's like- that money sound, like, completely threw me off. I did not expect that. Alright. Okay, well- Hey, we- we got money! We have money! Rags to riches. Oh, squat. 